So at WP Shout, we've got uh, quick guides about the Jetpack uh, widget control plugin, but there's a lot of many other options. So widget options is a very popular widget control plugin. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Uh, it has an exceptional number of features, but if I go to widget uh, appearance customize, I should see my controls. Um, so if I go here and I say widgets sidebar, and you see I've got a pages and a calendar widget, and I can turn on uh, using the, uh, this whole panel here where you see the eyeball and the phone looking thing and all of that stuff. This is all coming from that widget options plugin. So if I essentially have this show only on the home page for the calendar, because um, the logic's a little broken there. Um, I now see that only on the home page do I see that. So if I go to the about page, I just see the pages link. If I go back to the home page, I do see the calendar again. So that's a, a nice visual way you can do it. It also has the ability to show and hide on specific classes of devices. Um, if you weren't going to do the CSS yourself or anything like that, um, and you can do special things like add CSS IDs. And so it's super powerful, but the probably the most common use case is going to be the showing and hiding logic. So um, you can also have it show or hide on specific posts of specific post types and all that stuff. It's pretty powerful. Um, personally, I still think the Jetpack one is the most intuitive of all of these I've tried. Um, widget logic is powerful if you're a coder, but a little unintuitive. Um, but widget options is a great idea. Um, and a great little plugin if you don't like Jetpack and don't want to write some PHP. I think this is probably my go-to after that. So that's how I think about this whole category of things. And if you're on YouTube, we always appreciate likes and subscribes. Cheers.